What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Detritus. So this is a repaint of the G1 Hound, which we actually haven't gotten that mold yet. It's a little strange. We got the Jurassic Park Jeep and then we've got this version, which is closer to the Hound mold. But we still haven't gotten Hound. I think it's going to be a Studio Series figure. But in the meantime, we've got this guy. He is uh, a repaint from back in the day. It did appear in the IDW comics. It didn't appear in a show. Uh, but basically, he's both an Autobot and Decepticon. He just switches sides depending on who he thinks is winning. Um, so it's interesting that they chose to make him, but kind of makes sense if they're making a hound. Got some really nice paint on him. Uh, I was kind of surprised. He got some red and gold or silverish paint here on the arms. Nice Autobot tempo there. That same goldish paint here for the winch. Brown paint here on the front, both on the arms and on the shins. The toes are painted as well with this uh, beige paint. Here's the back. We'll see the Decepticon logo in the vehicle mode. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty well painted. The face is also painted, by the way. It's hard to see, but the beard or the goatee is painted that gold color, but the face is painted silver and then the eyes are red so a lot more paint than i expected for articulation the head can rotate around it doesn't have up and down movement that's a little disappointing but uh, and no side to side shoulders rotate around on friction out to the side on a pin rotation at the bicep single jointed elbow gets you 90 degrees rotation at the wrist it is a little bit tight rotation at the waist uh, no ab crunch leg will go up to there Back to there, out to the side. Rotation at the thigh on a mushroom peg. The knee, due to the transformation, will go way past 90. Nice. Ankle tilt out to the side. As far as the weapons, you get quite a bit of options here. So you get this. It is a clear plastic, but painted in that same beige color. You can plug this in and then use it for his shoulder missile. Um, and that's nice that they gave you that option because that's how Hound is going to work. But you can also change it up, which I thought was really cool. So you can take this out. You can give him this as a gun. And you can take this, and this will plug in right back here. And now he's got a totally different look. I think that's just really cool that they gave you that. And you get an additional gun done in that same gold paint. You can put that in his other hand. So he gets two weapons and this or you can have him with the shoulder missile i just like the versatility there on that and for size comparison there it is next to the earthrise optimus prime fits in nicely with other deluxe scale retail figures all right now let's get him transformed into his vehicle mode relatively fun and straightforward transformation we're gonna go ahead and unplug the arms from the side Tell you to take this chest piece and flip this up. And while you're doing that, you can flip this down. This panel is going to come down and meet there, and then that can plug in right here. Right? And you can see his head's just going to sit in there. Go and take the arms, you're going to fold inwards. And you're going to just leave this folded up like this. Same on this side. Leave this folded up. You can see there's an angled part to the arm, so you want that folded downwards. But Leave those like that. You'll see a tab there. That's the part that you want facing, facing downwards. Come to the legs. We're going to open up this panel here. Flip that all the way out. And then bring this around. That's going to tab in right here. Then you take this and fold that in. The arm is going to plug into the bottom of that. And if you want, you know, kind of a cleaner look for the hand, you don't have to, but you can rotate the hand so that the fist is facing outwards. Just looks a little bit cleaner. And then do the same thing on this side. Fold this out a little bit faster. Rotate this around. Tab this into here on the front of the truck or the Jeep. Bring this panel in. You can squeeze the two legs together here and here. And then plug that in, and then if you want, you can rotate the hand out. All right, and there is Detritus in his Jeep mode. You do have some nice paint here on the 
headlights and the winch. Silver painted wheels with black tires. Here's the top. It does look like there's some seats there. Unfortunately, you have a hole here. I was hoping they'd have a panel to cover that up, but it does, you can see right through. You can take the weapons, of course, and plug them in back here. I do think that looks better, personally. And you can plug this one in here or on the side. Again, personally, I think it looks better here. And it does roll, drive around with those guns. Overall, nice looking Jeep. I'm guessing they're going to make some changes for the Hound version, especially back here. I think it just looks a little bit strange. It's missing the rear tire. I don't know how they're going to take care of that, but it's got, it needs that rear spare tire and a bumper back here to really feel complete. Um, maybe they'll add something here, but overall, nice looking. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime, and he fits in nicely. Similar to other deluxe scale vehicles. A little bit big for a Jeep, but overall I think uh, looks nice with other retail figures. So final recommendations on the Transformers Legacy Evolution Detritus. I'm going to give this guy a 4 to 5. I'm going to recommend it. I think they did a good job on this guy. Robot mode looks really good. They really nailed the look of this figure, this character. There's plenty of paint. I was surprised how much paint they actually put on here. Not only the weapons, but the actual face and overall. The vehicle mode I think is a little bit strange just because there's so much beige plastic and the plastic itself I think it would have stood to have a little bit more paint in the vehicle mode um, just to match you know how good it looks in the robot mode. Um, but that's really the only weakness. I think it's a pretty darn good figure if you're a fan. Now I'm definitely excited to see what they do with their Studio Series Hound I believe it's Studio Series, because this is a pretty good mold. Um, but like I mentioned in the past, I don't know if Studio Series is really a step up or any different, um, because it feels like it's going to be very similar to this, which obviously just different colors. By the way, it's something to look forward to. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.